Hello, myself Gopal Khirsariya from Webtech. I welcome welcome you on the demonstration and the installation of Z Plus Suraksha equipment. Now, basically, this Z Plus Suraksha equipment, the fundamental behind designing this equipment is to protect your land from any wild animals. The beauty of this equipment is it will definitely give a shock to the living thing like any animals but there will not be any fatal. So that is the main purpose of installing this Z plus Suraksha equipment. Now let me make you intro um, now let me make you aware about all different parts of the equipment. See here is a battery. Of course, this is for a demonstration. It is just 7 ampere hours, but normally along with the equipment, it will be 26 ampere hour. This is one battery. This is a solar panel. This is a solar panel. It is it is having 24 watt solar panel, which which is kept on the rooftop. It captures from the sunlight. It it generates the uh, the supply and it is charging the battery. Okay. Now I will remove each and every part of the equipment. Now, first of all, this is a siren. Siren helps, siren helps in terms of whenever there is a uh, short circuit in the, in the area, it will start giving a sound so that the owner will come to know that there is some short circuit somewhere. Number two, this is a connector for batteries. These are, this is minus, this is plus and this goes to the equipment Z plus Suraksha. This is an extra facility given along with the equipment so that whenever any area is, is in dark, it will, it will be put on so that these LEDs will light. It works on 12 volt batteries. Now this is the main equipment. Z plus Suraksha. Now I will explain you one by one. Now, let me explain you about Z plus Suraksha each and every terminals. Now, this one, here we can connect the light so that it, this is the connect, connector, this is a light. Once we connect it over here, it will give the light in the room. Okay? So, it is connected. Secondly, this switch is for on and off whenever you want to put this equipment on you have to press or you put it off this switch is a mode switch you can either put it into a day and night mode day and night mode suppose you want the equipment does not want to work in daytime there is a provision if you want the equipment to work on 24 hours, this is the position. If you want equipment to work only in night time, then this is the position. Okay? Now, here is a sensor 
it it senses the day and night it once you block this it will consider that it is a night time if it is open and sunlight is falling on this it will assume this is a day time but it is operational only when you put it into the night mode auto mode okay now this is the connector where uh, the solar panel is to be connected now this is my solar panel this is the cable from solar panel which i am connecting here over here this is male connector this is a female connector which i am connecting here okay now this connector is for battery terminals here is a female connector and this is a male connector so that so that nobody can make any mistake in terms of connecting either battery or solar panel okay i am connecting this this battery terminals over here fine now this is a control which controls for the alarm depending on what is the length of the fencing we have to set once if it is set once you don't have to set it again this is one time exercise now this one where we have to connect the alarm now this is our our alarm system this is our alarm with cable i am connecting this cable alarm cable to the same connector now alarm is connected now this indicates whether it is generating the pulses or not when you put the equipment on it will start showing the the led will start blinking at every 1.2 second that means at every 1.2 second it is giving a pulse now this terminal is a terminal which is to be grounded once this terminal is grounded then from this terminal we have to connect to the fancy okay now this equipment is connected with all accessories this is our z plus suraksha unit okay it has a connection of this lighting which gives lighting into the room now this is a siren any time whenever whenever there is a short circuit on the fencing it will start buzzing and it will give the sound now this is a battery we have connected this battery to the unit now you can see it is connected here now this is the connection for solar plate solar plate is here this is our solar plate it during the sunlight it will charge the battery it will keep on charging the battery and our equipment will be on now uh, this is giving the pulse at every interval of 1.2 second okay now the equipment is on let me explain you about the sensor also this is a day night sensor during day time it will sense that this is a day if you do not want this equipment to be on it will put it off if you want your equipment to be used only during night time you have to put this switch on okay fine now since it is the day time 
the the pulse has gone off now let me explain you how it really works this equipment when both these terminals are connected and suppose if there is any short circuit anywhere i am i am trying to initiate it over here and whenever there is a short circuit the siren will start ringing you can see this is a short circuit every 1.2 second it will give a, a heavy shock but there will not be any fatal of any human being at the same time it will start giving a siren okay now i have explained you thoroughly about the functioning of this equipment whenever we supply we supply everything put together as a kit which helps the customer to safeguard their premises from animals hope i have explained you well whenever you fix up any any wire for fencing you need to use this insulator so that here is a is a hole from where a wire goes this is the hole for fixing the insulator on the pole so that during any rainy season there will not be any short circuit from this wire to the pole and it will keep a separation between phase and neutral so this is the main role of insulator and this gives the reliable result while fencing energizer now let me explain you the equipment theoretically see here is the equipment which i have drawn that is z plus suraksha here is a solar panel a wire comes from solar panel goes to the z plus suraksha there is one battery which is of 26 ah which is capable of giving the power to about 4 days even when there is no sun okay so this gives the power for 4 days the battery is connected to z plus suraksha there is one terminal which is supposed to be grounded another terminal positive is to be connected to the fencing i have drawn a fencing with some four poles here the insulator which was explained earlier is put into all live wires the fencing has been given live on these three wires only these wires are not energized the insulators are to be used at this location this location and this location because this is the place where a live wire is passing through so that to protect from grounding this is to be used now assume that there is any animal which is trying to come inside the premises so if it is trying then this is a live wire it will give a shock at every 1.2 seconds hence with the help of that heavy shock the the animal will run away if if the animal is uh, little bit at a height say 4 feet 5 feet high then if it is trying to come from here it will get the shock from top if it is trying to insert from here it will get the shock from bottom so from anywhere if it is trying to come inside the premises it will get a shock now let me explain you suppose if any any surface area is uneven where it has enough opportunity for an animal to go in we can put such wires or some chain over here 
so that it will give a shock with the help of this. Hence, this a gap is being filled up. So, equipment will generate one pulse at every 1.2 second and within a minute it will generate 50 seconds. Now, if I draw a pole, pole will be like this. This is a pole and the insulator is to be fixed like this. Depending on how exactly you would like to configure, suppose you would like to protect the, uh, the animals which is of a smaller in size, you can have only two wires fencing. You need not have to put all five wires. But if you want to protect all types of animals starting from small to large or big animals, then you need to have at least a fencing of five to six feet height. Hope I have explained you theoretically and this is capable of taking care for 15 hectares which is nearly equal to 35 acres. I think I have explained you in, in uh, theoretically. Now let me explain you about a product which is of a, a great utility for farmers especially when he or she is traveling in a dark. Now this is a light where it has got an inbuilt battery which works for 10 to 12 hours. There is one LED which is quite powerful. It has a charging point. You can use it with a simple Nokia charger. Secondly, there is a belt which is flexible. So depending on the person, he can tie on his head. So I am tying it up on my head. Hence, when I am using this spotlight, my both hands are free. These hands are free to work anything else. I am putting on the light. Even, even to read the newspaper, I can read anything from with the help of this lighting. And this is a light which has got so many purposes. During night time, if somebody would like to drive a bicycle, he can do that. During night time, if a farmer wants to do some work in the farm, he can do that. So this is a multi-purpose lighting. Thank you very much for your time for uh, seeing this video on Z Plus Suraksha product. In case if you have any suggestions or any queries, you are welcome to put on, on the email which is mentioned below or you can, you can see on our website. Thank you.